Hello and welcome to my channel guys. Today we're going to talk about a flush function which is commonly used to clear out the output stream in C programming but we can also use it to clear out the input stream. Some compiler allows it and some don't. So let's see this with an example. Okay so first of all let's initialize it integer called num and second let's initialize a character called ch. First we're going to ask the user to enter in character Now if you run this code, it will generate the output as expected. So let's enter a character, now let's enter an integer and it is showing that the number you entered is 12 and the character you entered is C. Now what if, if you take character after taking the integer? So let's do that. Now let's see what happened. Let's enter an integer. Now as you can see it didn't stop to enter the character. It's supposed to stop here where it's displaying the message that uh, enter the character but it didn't. Why? So now let me explain that. Whenever you enter anything from the keyboard, it goes to the buffer first. You can suppose buffer as a big array for now. Buffer is a temporary storage which stores the stream of the data for a temporary basis. And the work of the scanf is it takes the data from the buffer and assign them to the variables. Okay, so when you input 10, you also input the enter, you also hit the enter after the, after the 10. So both the value goes to the buffer first. And when the first scanf encountered, it takes the first integer value from the buffer which is 10 and it assigns it to the num variable. Now the 10 is cleared from the buffer, but the buffer is not empty yet. It contains the enter that you had entered after the 10. Enter is also a character, it has an ASCII value, remember that. So when the second scanf encountered, it took the enter and it assigned it to the ch variable. That's how it's done. To solve this problem or to clear the buffer, we will use f flush function. So when the first scanf encountered, it took the 10 and it assigned it to the num variable. And then f flush is encountered and it clear out the buffer. So that when the second scanf encountered and it sees the buffer empty, it will ask for the next input. Remember that you can only input another character when the buffer is empty. So fflush will empty the buffer and the next scanf will ask for the input. So let's use it in our code. We're gonna put fflush here. And in this we're gonna use stdin because stdin denotes the input buffer. So now let's run this program again. Now let's enter integer. Now let's enter a character. You can see it is asking for the character because the buffer is clear out. So let's enter character C and it is showing both the number and the character. So this is the working of the F flush. So that's all for today guys. I hope you understood the F flush function by now and I will be keep uploading such type of videos on small topics. So subscribe to my channel for more updates and I will see you next time.